last night you told a couple days ago you said to watch um dream scenario yeah with him. on hbo and anyone any bad friends fans dude you gotta watch this movie it's, it's incredible so, it's incredible so oh but i was thinking about his career and i'm just so like look what he's done i know lord but, of war but what he did was you know he disappeared for because he did a movie called um that Christian movie that it was one of the worst movies ever made. What was it called? It was called. He's a pilot. Yeah, 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 it's a pilot. It's one of the worst movies ever made. Oh yeah. Never. What is Left it? Alone? Left, left alone. alone. He did a movie called Left Alone. It Left Alone got. I'm going to show you Left Alone on the. Um, he can look it up up there. Yeah. What did it get on Rotten Tomatoes? What a, just a, what a career he's had. Yeah, he's incredible. But he had that. Let so he had the you know that he wanted time always to be a uh, a movie star like an action hero, and he won an Oscar in order to become an action hero, which is kind of insane. Can't do that career. these days. But he, in the, there was a gap there a decade where he was doing small movies, independent oh. movies. I think Mandy is what kind of like went pe you know kind of really? turned people's heads like hmm interesting. Yeah. God, he must be doing like he at the at that back then he must be doing three films look a year. The, Even River now. Valley Girl. Oh my God, look at. The amount of work he's done, this guy. How could you deuce that much? He loves it so much. He goes from set to set. Yeah. No, I mean, I get it. If you have the opportunity, I understand yeah. it. But also, that how overwhelming. Yeah. Where is life? That's what gets scary to me. Where is life? When you're so inundated with so much work. I think about that with my buddy, our pal. Oh, by the way, Moonstruck. What a good movie. Great movie, dude. Um, oh, my oh, God. Oh, it could happen to you. It could happen to you was great. Adaptation was phenomenal. Yeah. You can name so many of these movies. Raising so Arizona is still movies, my favorite. Um, and by the way, let's don't get me started on uh, Go Down a Little Bit. Don't get me started on Ant Bully. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? I don't know. Dude, this guy's been in so many movies. He He's in so many movies that some of them sound like they made them up and put them in there to see if you'd notice. Yeah. Like, like I don't know. Creeper I, Lake or something. Yeah. Creeper Cric <laughs> Lake. <laughs> this goes out there to everybody. This is not just reference to the film industry. I'm talking about some of our fans out there, and I mean this. I'm going to say this to you because mm. I had a conversation with a friend of ours, uh, a friend of our family. I can't say who. It's, it's They're private. But they were saying how they're, they're feeling like they might be burning out a little bit, just like overworking. And they're not a comedian. They just work in our industry. And I was like, oh, you really have to take time because it's dangerous when you're when you let yourself be a part of something and you don't get to do you a little bit. Mm -hmm. And she was like, ha ha, you know, try my best, but I'm dragging myself around, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, I'm actually being serious. I'm like being genuine because I've learned if I don't do that, I get emotionally dark, deep down. Like I've taken this whole week of doing stand up off. Mm. Now that we're back, I feel f great. You seem great. I get to walk to coffee in the morning with the dog. I get an extra couple hours at home. Like it just feels nice to be able to like, Exercise, do the pod, take a break mentally, go to a nice dinner. Mm. I mean that for our fans too. You got to do things for you sometimes. Yeah, that I called are, you the other day. You were taking a walk with your wife. I think. Yeah, just nice. Yeah, yeah. Just like get the fuck out of your. Because nice. sometimes if all you're doing is working, like these, like our fans too, some people are just working, 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 working. If you don't take any time for you, I'm telling you, it's so bad for your brain. Were you just kidding the other day when you go, I wasn't going to do family feud or no? I, mean, I think it was yesterday. You goes, you know what, bud? I'm not going to do it. Yeah, I wanted to see your reaction. <laughs> Why? Because if I gave you an out, well, you would have gotten an out? Yeah. No, no, no. If you weren't excited for me to be there, I wouldn't have felt... As... Guy, guy, guy. I'm doing it for us. Okay. I'm doing it for us. I I'm doing it for our family. But here's the thing. I called you to check you to see, I wonder if he really wants me to do it. And I said, because it's the Lee family, and I'm not a Lee. You, dude, you're a... I love a Lee. <laughs> there you're, is a lead that I love. You're a close to me, like you are like a family member. You're like you feel you feel. You're like a, a brother to me. Well, then why, why what were we even talking about? It was an ego you thing. Know what I mean, I just wanted you to. These are like third cousins. <laughs> cousins? Yeah, third. Yeah, like yeah. I don't know them. McCone is like a guy. McCone to me, in my family network world, yeah, is like an Amazon guy. You know the guy that drops off. It's like it changes every week. I don't even know who he really is. Yeah, uh, you're like on Ancestry.com. <laughs> like you're related to McCall. I'm like, how? I wouldn't even, I would just kind of read it and just kind of move on. I would ask them to change it. I'd go, can you take that off? Yeah. And fancy to me family-wise is like somebody that married into my family, but mm. like we we put up with them. Oh, like he comes yeah, yeah, to the yeah. family dinners. Yeah. Hey, do you want to play a popular game we do in Spain? And we're like, fuck, he's going to make us do like the dice game thing or something. Yeah. yeah. 
Your girlfriend's sister's new boyfriend is who you are. Oh my god! You yeah, know what I mean, mm. hey, I'm Charlie. Yeah. Oh, Charlie. That's <laughs> you. Yeah. Yeah. I go, sh- sh- Charlie, you're not funny. C- can I show you pictures on my phone of stuff that I like? No, Char- get the fuck, fuck out of here, Charlie. Charlie. And who's Carlos? Oh, Carlos is like a, I, I know a, what, I, dude. You're Cato Kalen. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't Carlos have a Cato Kalen vibe? Dude, he is a hundred. You're a hundred percent Cato Cato Kalen. Yeah, you're Cato Kalen, dude. It's randomly, you know, lives Although, in a guest house somewhere. Yeah, you just live in somebody else, somebody's guest house. Right. By the way, Cato, great, great head of lettuce. Dude. Look at that guy's hair. Yeah. Speaking of which, what were we thinking putting Fancy in a bald cap? We have a bald guy. Yeah. <laughs> what were we doing? We I, bought I, yeah, a bald I, yeah, cap? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, this is just mismanagement all the way around. <laughs> yeah. Delegation is just bad here. Cato's got a great head of lettuce. He used to come around and do stand up, right? Yeah, he used to see him at the comedy store a lot. He used to, pop, you know, what he used to do a lot? I'd see him at Jay Davis's shows. Yeah. Um, what was the name of that show on Melrose? He had that big room on Melrose. A parlor. Parlor. Yeah, yeah. the parlor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He used yeah. to come around there. That room used to shake, man. You could. That was. That was a fun room. There some fun rooms. Some of those rooms back in the day. Yeah, Be- beautiful people. Alternative rooms. You never did Dublin's, right? No, it was a little, I think it was before my time because oh. Dublin's was probably like in the like early aughts, like oh three to oh four, oh five, right? Yeah, the greatest. Night. I didn't get out to. It was 06. the greatest night of comedy. You guys don't know about that either. Let's see this video. What is this? <laughs> Jen, I'm pleased to confirm that at the Pause age it. of 100... Guinness World Record for... This is their oldest man. Oh, the oldest Brit. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's the world's oldest man. Mm-hmm. All right. 11 years, 222 111. days old. You are the oldest man. You are the oldest man, but I live short. And you can't do what's about it. I am 111 years old. It's like his tongue doesn't work anymore. I can remember my first day at school. Pause it. So here's why I think we wanted to play this video. Um, Steve on Saturday will be also hard to understand. <laughs> so we're trying to see if you could, if you heard everything he said, it's going to be easy. Oh. Steve's sometimes tough to understand. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes Steve, he runs through the questions real fast. Yeah. So this, did you understand everything he said? No. Yeah, right. I know. I, but I was more interested in like, I guess when you get old, Parts of your body die first. Your tongue, his tongue's been gone. Yeah, for quite yes, a while. so, yeah, that died probably twelve years ago. Oh, at twelve, he's one hundred and eleven. That died when he was like eighty-five. Eighty-five, yeah. Would you ever want to live to be one hundred and eleven years old? But he seems cognitive more so than Joe Biden. And clear, <laughs> and clear. <laughs> I mean, seriously. So he could still probably u- use an Oculus. You think you think he jerks off with the Apple Pro? <laughs> But imagine what he's seen. I like what, what, okay, 111. What year was he born? 100 years would be 1924, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Minus 11. Oh, thanks, Andrew. You got it. Thank you. I mean, that's yeah. embarrassing. I don't have my abacus. <laughs> Do you even want to be 111? What? So he was born in 1910. Mm-hmm. So in 19. Well, no. Okay. What? Something like that. It's 2024. 100 years was 1924 yeah. minus 11. What's 24 minus 11? So 19, uh, 2000, he was born in uh, 1914. <laughs> 1913. <laughs> yeah. 1913. Yeah. He was born in 1913, right? Wow. Before cars, right? Wikipedia 1913. Planes. When did planes happen? Before planes. Before no, no, no. Th- yes, this, yes, this is before. Commercial flights. Commercial flights, yes, of course. In 1913, go and zoom in. This is the first Balkan War. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Uh, hold on, hold on, slow down. New York City's Grand Central Terminal was just rebuilt as the world's largest ra- railroad station. The 16th Amendment to the United States uh, Constitution was ratified, the fe- authorizing the federal government to impose and collect income taxes. Fuck me. What a shit year. That's when yeah. they decided to start stealing our money again. Wait, so he's in high school during the Depression, probably. 1929. No, he's, yeah, maybe just about, no, he's in middle school, right? Middle school. Yeah. Yeah, he can't eat lollipops. Zoom into this. He is born, go down, let's see what else is going on during then. Slow down. Women's suffrage procession takes place in D.C. Oh, these chicks are looking to vote. Woodrow Wilson was president when this guy popped up. Insane. The Mexican Revolution, Pancho Villa. Oh, my God. Wow. Folklore. Terrible year. Yeah. (laughs) Scoot down. This is the year Zorro he... was probably around still. Still, I think Godzilla was still around. Yeah, Not you know yet. what? You know what? You know what the single was? What? Patty cake. 
<laughs> patty cake, patty cake. I don't know the word. Baker's right. man. Yeah, yeah. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. What else? By the way, a little demanding for a child, don't you think? This Bake me a cake as fast as you can. That's yeah. Name. Wait, let's do the rest. Patty cake, patty cake. Baker's, Baker's man. Pa Bake me a cake, cake as, as fast, fast as you can. can. Uh, it. What? Roll, Roll it, it. Toss it. <laughs> put it up my ass. <laughs> Throw me in the oven and bake me fast. What is that? What it is? There's, uh, oh, there's actually patty cake, lyrics. Patty cake, baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Pat it and prick it and mark it with a B. Put it in the oven for baby and me. For baby and me. For baby and me. It's cum. Yeah. Is that what it is? Yeah, this is the song about cum. Mm -hmm. Patty cake was about making. Is about sex, isn't it? Yes. Wow. What's the B on there for fancy B? <laughs> so this this guy lived through the fourth. He saw it all. Well, I don't know if he did. I mean, who knows if he was paying attention? England in 1913. Uh oh. Dude, look at it. Back then, we we barely had beans on toast. <laughs> that's them in the water with full clothes on. That's oh my like, God. Uh, by the way, that's like a. There Los was no bathing suits back then. That's like a Los Angeles beach today. <laughs> yeah. Wow, look at that. Incredible. I saw the good you ever, times. You ever go see if, if, if Mexicans at the beach in LA? So they're, they're in full clothes. Mexicans will wear sneakers into the water. <laughs> I, they will. Yeah, yeah. What? Look, just look at that. Yeah, it looks like another world. It's incredible. What a life. 1913. Yeah. Those little British kids there, there's poop in the streets. Yeah. What would you say as a grand, great great grandson to him? I'd be like, just, you can go. You gotta go already. Papa, you gotta go. Yeah. Because I can, so I can get the money. I need money. <laughs> can you, does he, there's, that's the thing. If you live that long, there's yeah. no way you have money anymore. Mm. He doesn't have fucking money. No like he retired, what? 60 years before that. Nobody plans. <laughs> no one's retirement plan includes it, 111. Yeah. You're done. You're done. Your money's run. His money probably ran out by the time he was like 88 or 90. Right. And then he was like, no, what? Yeah, at, at 85, he was like, should I work again? You got to get another job. <laughs> yeah. That always breaks my heart. When I see like an old person working somewhere, I'm like, mm. when they're really old, I'm always like, what is going oh, on? Yeah, well, oh. Like that breaks my fucking heart. It breaks my heart. Like whenever I see, I, I donated a bunch of stuff to Goodwill and that's probably volunteer work. But the woman out back was so old and she was like, you want any help? And I was like, no, you can't carry all this shit. What is that? Uh, senior citizens uh, who are employed. Wow. California has the most. Who's surprised? How many? Four million. Yeah, you know why? This place is a fucking ripoff. You have to work. This place sucks. Let's get the fuck out of here. Five and and over. That's would you? Would you? Would we move the show? Could we move the show if we wanted to move somewhere? Yeah, where? Atlanta, Europe. Both bad answers. No, no where? Vegas. You want to go to Nevada? Save money on taxes. Because if you go to Vegas, fuck the, California. Then man. people will get. There's people out there. We can get carrot top. All kinds of people. That's one. <laughs> right. Yeah. Well, who else? Regan. Two. We can get Regan. We can get Nicolas Cage. Three. The magician. A friend of yours. Shin Lim. Pi Piff? Oh, Shin Lim. Yeah, yeah. He lives here, doesn't he? Penn and, no. Penn and Teller. Paul, they don't live there. Paulie. They huh? Paulie lives here now. Penn and, yeah, Penn and Teller live there. We're all wrong. <laughs> it doesn't matter. We can f also fly people in if they're... Britney. Right? Yeah. <laughs> it's Vegas. We can fly people in. It's mm. cheap from LA. Okay. And number two, they're just so... I, I, let's do it. Let's go. Let's get out of here. All right. Okay. You guys are all willing to move? Are we invited? You work for the company, yes. Well, you signed a blood contract. Yeah. Well, hopefully we do well on Family Feud, uh, and I hope you guys watch. We'll let you know when it comes out, and thank you for being, being a, bad a bad friend. friend. We get a transition for the... Uh... for the Family Feud game at one point, because we go back and forth two times. We get one like now... Are you cutting this episode? I just don't know. Sit down. I don't know. Sometimes you don't know. <laughs> don't even laugh, dude. I just uh, and it's 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 astounding. As if he's Steven Spielberg. <laughs> Get out of here, dude. Dude, beat it, beat it, dude. Dude, you <laughs> you. <laughs> you haven't done shit. Dude. The nerve of you is insane. It's pure insanity, dude. Oh, stay back there. Yeah, stay back there. Dude. <laughs> Next thing you know, he's gonna give us line readings. How about this? How about this? Ready? Bob. Well, that was fun. Let's try it with the other cards. <laughs>
Is that the transition <laughs> yeah. that you want? That's great. Bob, give, you give, do, me a, give me another shot. Give me a shot. You do one. Well, that was interesting because thank you so much, McCone, for doing the one that's bad friends related. Cool. But maybe we should go to the ones that are like traditionally <laughs> the cars that you got at a gift store or whatever. That's a great idea. Und the good idea, right? Take it away, guys. <laughs> Let's do it. That you better good. fucking use that yeah, cut. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Where was that in Drugstore June? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> go get him. Oh go, go fuck him up. Go fuck him up. I'm dead serious. Go, Bobby. Go fuck him up. No, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. You know why? No, no. Here's here's the deal. You are a little cocksucker. Here's the deal. That was. You know what? I'll be honest with you. Piece of shit. Um. <laughs> it's the role. Don't defend it. Don't don't. Why 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 do you have to even defend his comment? God, that was so good though. That was pretty good. It, it was. I'll tell you why. He knows. He knows. It'll forever burn the. Yeah, spirits. it's gonna hit you. It's, yeah. <laughs> like he knows it. Yeah, and he doesn't right? care. He's like, uh, this is gonna completely separate us. Hundred percent. Right. There's no way going back. As if it wasn't bad before. Yeah. Yeah. I have to say this joke though. Say it. Right. So he says it. Right. Knowing that it's he could get fired. Oh yeah. It's forever done, and yet he had the balls to say it. And I appreciate you as a fucking warrior. <laughs> 